buying a home can be really stressful and really hectic. However, having an agent who understands the contract and the process can be really helpful, especially if they're able to explain it to you. I'm Haley Overton and I am a local realtor here in Central Oregon. And this video is about what to expect during your home buyer's inspection. Typically, several home inspections that we recommend to our buyers, the general home inspection, a sewer scope, and radon testing. Now, if your home that you're buying is on a septic system or a well, we also recommend those inspections as well, and we'll touch on those later. The general home inspection looks at everything from your furnace, your electrical, your attic, your call space. It really looks as your, at your house as a whole picture, and the inspector will take a lot of pictures, give you their opinion, um, their expert information as to what is wrong with the home, or if there are general maintenance items that they recommend you take care of. This is almost a non-negotiable. We always recommend that our clients do this. Even if it's a very competitive situation, we never recommend that you waive your home inspection or that you don't complete a home inspection. The second is a sewer scope. Now, some people kind of give me a funny look whenever I suggest putting a camera down their sewer line. However, we have seen a lot of sewer lines that have root penetration, they have holes, they have big bellies in them where there's water sitting and could cause backup. So having a uh, sewer scope done as part of your home inspection can really give you a good idea if there's any issue with your sewer. Now, replacing a sewer or repairing a sewer line in Central Oregon can be really expensive because we have such hard lava rock that they have to dig through if they have to dig any part of it up. So it can absolutely save you thousands of dollars if you find something during your inspection. Finally, the inspection that we always recommend to our buyers is a radon test. So a lot of people say, what is radon? I've never heard of that. Radon is a naturally occurring gas that comes out of the soil and it's the second leading cause of lung cancer next to smoking. It's a colorless, odorless gas and um, it can't really be detected with anything other than a radon test, which tests the air particles um, every, so every couple of minutes for 48 hours. So the home inspector will set the radon test in the house and it will collect air samples for the duration of the test. Then they'll get the information back and it will tell us if it is exceeding the limit that it should be or if it's below. We don't see a ton of high radon here, sir, here in Central Oregon. However, I have had some high radon tests and it's something that I always recommend just to be extra cautious. If the home you're purchasing does end up having a high radon level, then there are ways to mitigate it where they essentially filter out the air that's coming in through the crawl space or the basement. If you're buying a home that's on a septic system and or a well, so we do recommend testing for those. During a septic inspection, they will usually pump the septic tank so that it's empty, and then they will also do a flow test to make sure that the water is flowing out of the septic tank and into the drain lines appropriately and that there isn't any backup. They'll also look for any damage or deterioration to the tank. If the home has a well, they'll, we always recommend doing a well flow test. And what's required by the state is that you also do a water sample to make sure that there aren't bacteria in the water. So the well flow test can be anywhere from one hour to four hours. We typically recommend a four hour test just so that we know that the pump is in good working condition. And because of the drought conditions we're experiencing here in Central Oregon, we wanna make sure that that well doesn't run dry and doing a four hour test is really the best way to, to ensure that. If during any of your inspections, whether it's a general home inspection or a radon test or a well or septic, whenever we get those reports, we have a chance to negotiate repairs or closing cost credits in lieu of repairs. So we look at that together with our buyers, make sure that they understand everything that's going on with the home, and then we go from there to determine what negotiations are gonna happen next. If we get your inspection reports back and there is just too much going on and we can't get the seller to agree to make repairs that are necessary, as the buyer, you have the opportunity to terminate during your inspection period and get your earnest money returned to you. So I will always go up to bat for my buyers to make sure that we're getting the repairs needed. And if we can't do that, then I completely support my buyers terminating and we'll find the right house for them. If you're thinking about buying a home here in Central Oregon, I'm happy to explain the home buying process for you as well as what to expect during your inspection period. For more information about buying a home in Bend or just living a Central Oregon lifestyle, make sure you like or subscribe to this channel so that you are getting updates whenever we post a new video.